Hey guys, it's Joel. Good morning and welcome back to, oh well, it's probably my last video from this road trip, very sadly. Um, it is Sunday today here in Monaco. Excuse me, I'm just drinking my caramel macchiato from Starbucks. Um, it's Sunday here in Monaco. Sadly, the weather's not very nice, uh, but I will be flying home this evening. If you all saw my video the other day with Ben um, explaining what's happened on this road trip, you'll understand why, but I am flying home this evening. Ben is driving home, literally now, we're just going back to the car. I'm gonna do a couple more twat laps, as they call it here, around Monaco, get a few photos of the car uh, before Ben departs for Paris tonight, and I fly home to London this evening. Anyway, we're gonna pop, pop back to the uh, underground car park now where the car is, start it up, go for a few more final goodbye laps of Monaco, and then uh, I'm gonna be here for the rest of the day with the others doing a little bit of spotting before I head to the airport this evening. So stay tuned and uh, I will fill you guys in on everything that I see. Here we are then getting back in the Z4 for the last time for me. I think I was chatting to Ben yesterday, maybe we should do an update video when we're all back in the UK uh, to see how this car, this poorly car is getting on. But yeah, last time for me in Monaco. Getting, uh, getting in the Z4. Let's do it. Sad, isn't it? It's a sad moment. It is. So it's typical, guys. We're in the Z4 now to hopefully get some pictures of the car before Ben leaves uh, at the iconic spots. And it has literally just started pissing it down. It's typical. It is actually, things have not gone our way on this trip. Literally. They're all there, though. <laughs> they are still there. Okay. I think it's undercover. So we're hoping the guys, the other guys on the group, they're gonna take some photos of us, but obviously we can't have the roof down, because it really is it's beaming annoying, it down. It is clearing. It'll probably it's stop just, raining in a second. Yeah, as soon as I leave. Yeah. That would be your luck, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right, we'll give it a go anyway. Two hours later. Ben has well and truly gone then. He dropped me off. I've been picked up in the, I like to call this the Hulk. <laughs> uh, the green Golf R, Luke's Golf R. Um, we are currently driving through Monaco, the sun has come out, looking for anything special, but in particular we're trying to find the Bugatti dealership. Um, we've got Johnny in the seat. Johnny in the M2 behind us, that looks amazing. And we're following a very nice Targa at the moment. Yeah, we're literally just going to be cruising around for the rest of uh, this morning and into the afternoon looking for this dealership and anything else that might come out to play. As you can see, we, the Golf R, the M2, and the Abarth have now come back down to the marina where this, I forget the name, I think it's the Dill something or other, apparently the largest yacht in the world, $600 million, 152 or so meters long. Ridiculous. Uh, yeah, we've come to do a few photos. The sun has somehow come back out again, even though it's not looking so hopeful up there. And uh, yeah, these cars are gonna look great together. The green, the blue, and the gray of the Abarth will really pop in the sunshine. Why is this diesel <laughs> joined our photo shoot? I don't know, it's just a cool Sorry, this is, uh, I think you've got lost, mate. This is actually private. Yeah. So if you wouldn't mind turning around. It's a low emission zone. zone. <laughs> Right, well we stopped for a quick lunch, McDonald's as always, um, seems to be all you eat really in Monaco, and uh, yeah we're doing a little bit more spotting before I head to the airport, so we're now in the tunnel because it is absolutely pounding to get down with rain out there, so we are in the tunnel to see if anything comes through here, although I'm not too hopeful as Monaco is pretty dead at the moment, Top Marks was originally meant to be this weekend, 
but it isn't, although I will be back for it uh, next month. So uh, there'll be more spotting videos coming along then. Anyway, I'll turn the camera around to the more exciting stuff now and film anything that comes through. So we've resorted to the car parks for our spotting because look out there. It is absolutely diabolical weather. The worst I've ever seen in Monaco. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're waiting for the, we're, we're trying to get in here, but um, it's all locked. So, are there any other car parks? No. They're up. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I've got to go to the airport in about half an hour, so I don't think I'm going to see anything good. I didn't film it because it was so dark, but there was a Ferrari 512BB Boxster um, in a car park. Also a couple of Performantes, a couple of Ferraris, a uh, nice GT3 with carbon ceramics. That's about it, really. There's not been anything super, super crazy. Um, so yeah, I think we're, we'll wait for the rain to sort of chill out a little bit and then maybe try and find one more car park before I have to head to the airport. Um, yeah, it's, it's not really, as you can see, going to plan at all. Well, we've struck some sort of goal because there is a very nice GT3 RS there next to an even nicer 812 in a colour I've never seen one in before with some yellow pinstripes as well. Also, a very nice Rosso Dino 488 in the background. Similar, well, very, very pretty much exact to the one that I uh, took with uh, Sam seen through glass from Marinello that time. Um, pretty good. Oh, and also, crazy, crazy G-Wagon. So, um, things were looking down, but now things are looking up and the rain has stopped. So fingers crossed, our luck will continue for the next half an hour or so before I have to leave. So at the Hotel de Paris, we have got this stunning spec 488, the very, very nice blue. I'm uh, not enough of a Sort of car spotted to tell you the exact colour. I'm sure Shmi would be able to let you know. Um, yeah, this is very nice. Carbon mirror. I actually love a blue Ferrari. Obviously, that 812 just then was blue and that looked stunning. This 408 Spider and this blue also looks unreal, actually. I think there's an SV just over here, so we're going to have a look at that too. Here's the SV. Very TGE spec, this one. Funny enough, uh, there's not really that many event stores in Monaco. There's one literally our next door neighbour at our Airbnb has a 50th anniversary event store. This is obviously an SV, but they're the only two I've seen since arriving here. These things are ridiculous, they have so much road presence. Um, one thing there are a lot of here in Monaco though are Rolls Royces. There's literally two next to each other there, a Bentley there. Um, I would imagine there's more. Yeah, Rolls -Royces this is the main place to be. A very nice looking orange a bath over there as well. I really like that. And a nice also looking Audi TT. Uh, I do like the newer shaped ones of these, but not the, uh, not the older ones. Yeah, SV is madness. There's two Rolls Royces as well. And uh, where's next? Got an original Vanquish S here with a red interior. We saw this one last night. I absolutely love these. Guys, wow. this apart has the like the six thousand pound gearbox. I think it's a dog leg. That is uh, pretty rare to see. He's done all sorts of stuff to the interior in this. Carbon everywhere. This is six nine five Posto, so lots of it will be standard. But uh, that is that's a CAE Ultra Shift, isn't it? There, that's the dog leg one, I think. Yeah. That's the six grand, uh, six grand option. That is awesome. That is what I'd want if I had an bath. That is definitely what I'd want. Z4. <laughs> Guys, I've found a Z4. I've actually found a Z4. Very nice DBS Super Legera in the car park where we're parked. 
That's Ryan's Avar 595 Competizione. And that Z4 that I just followed in here. Also, very nice Gallardo. Uh, I think that's a Super Gallardo as well. With a red interior. That is awesome. Very cool. Back at our cars, and we've got a California T and a 458 Speciale. Uh, which is pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Hashtag Monaco. That's it now. Gonna I think, jump on this one and pretty much go to the airport. Like I've done many times before, I didn't film any more this day. I was super, super tired, had to get on my flight and then pack for my two week trip to Egypt, which I'm now back from. This is the last video from my road trip series. I'm sure some of you will be pleased to know and very, very soon indeed, you will be seeing the Z4 back on the channel. Nonetheless, I hope you have enjoyed this road trip series. Don't forget to leave the video a thumbs up and comment below your favorite moment from the whole trip. If you'd be interested, I will be filming a video at some point talking about the costs associated with the road trip and also potentially an update on uh, what's been resolved with Ben's Z4. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this one and I will see you very, very soon. Yeah, yeah.